मेरा नाम डॉक्टर मोहम्मद मोहसन है और मेरे यूट्यूब चैनल का नाम भी डॉक्टर मोहसन के नाम से है आज हम आ, मेरे पास यूनिवर्सिटी से मुख्तलिफ यूनिवर्सिटीज़ के स्टूडेंट थे तो आलमोस्ट इनका वन मंथ कंप्लीट हो गया तो आज हम उनकी उन्होंने एक महीने में क्या प्रैक्टिकली परफॉर्म किया है तो वो आज हम उनके लिए एक प्रेजेंटेशन बनाई है तो वो आज प्रेजेंट करेंगे वन बाय वन सारे जो है तो मैं सबसे पहले आपका आपको उनका तारुफ करवाऊंगा ये सबसे पहले हाफिज तला ये डी के स्टूडेंट हैं और युवा सनारोवाल कैंपस से हैं उसके बाद डॉक्टर अनीप हैं ये चौलीस साल यूनिवर्सिटी से हैं और एनिमल साइंसेस के स्टूडेंट हैं उसके बाद हाफिज आकिब ये डी के स्टूडेंट हैं और चौलीस साल यूनिवर्सिटी से हैं उसके बाद डॉक्टर जिशान हैं ये भी चौलीस साल यूनिवर्सिटी से हैं और एनिमल साइंसेस के स्टूडेंट हैं और उसके बाद हाफिज तला ये युवा सनारोवाल कैंपस से हैं डी के स्टूडेंट तो अब वन बाय वन ये सारे क्योंकि इन्होंने एक प्रेजेंटेशन तैयार की है जो इन्होंने एक मंथ इस फॉर्म पे यानी रिवर लाइन डेरी पे जो जो इन्होंने परफॉर्म किया प्रैक्टिकली जो है तो वो इन्होंने अब प्रेजेंट हमें करेंगे जो है तो सबसे पहले हाफिज तला ये प्रेजेंट करेंगे ठीक है हाफिज साहब अस्सलाम वालेकुम माय नेम इज डॉक्टर हाफिज मोहम्मद तला रहीम फ्रॉम केबीसीएमएस सिवास नारोवाल करंटली आई एम वर्किंग एज एन इंटर्नी एट रिवर लाइन डेरी फार्म बहावलपुर टुडे वी हैव गैदर्ड हियर फॉर अ फॉर्मल प्रेजेंटेशन एंड दैट इंक्लूड्स कंप्राइजेस ऑफ ऑल द एक्टिविटीज एंड एक्सपीरियंस एंड द आवर रिस्पांसिबिलिटीज वी डिड ड्यूरिंग आवर टेन्योर हियर एट रिवर लाइन डेरी फार्म Uh, before going to the formal proceedings of today's presentation i would like to thank each and every one of riverline family especially mr sir dr uh, sir dr mohammad mohsen sir form manager along with sir dr s n rai sir assistant form manager for giving us a chance uh, for giving all of us a chance to explore things and to learn new experiences in our day, uh, daily life <coughs> first of all this presentation includes the introduction brief introduction of all the members and who are presented and whom to whom this presentation is going to be presented my group members includes myself hafiz mohammad talha rahim uh, dvm sivas narawal tahali from dvm sivas narawal is my class fellow uh, anib hasan khan he is bs animal scientist student sciences student from cuas bahawalpur mohammad zishan is also from bs animal sciences cuas bahawalpur and mohammad aqib hafiz mohammad aqib who is a dvm graduate from cuas bahawalpur <coughs> this introduction this slide contains introduction of river line dairy farm basically this uh, farm was established in december 2022 first farm introduced its basically its mission was to introduce a degreed progeny testing program and then a degreed cows to the pakistan farmers of pakistan <clears throat> and these were the australian genetically tested and its objective and vision in future is that its breed development replacement heifers for sale they will inshallah they will establish a sale point for uh, genetically degreed heifers and along with that they will they are they have aim to develop some dairy technologies like milk and milk products in as they have launched the product name milk line <coughs> this is a main introduction and hierarchy of this river line farm <coughs> now we are going to see what is the farm layout of river line currently it has three sheds one is milking parlor and the two of them are currently functional one is under construction and the second one is going to be completed in, in next 4 to 5 days inshallah 
it also has a chiller room medicine store control room including having lt room electricity charges whatever the uh, terms and conditions feed store offices residence and mosque <coughs> along with that there are some pictorial presentations shed one <coughs> this shed one contains whole milking shed all the animals here are milking they are divided into three groups first one is high group second one is medium group and low group that is third one and their uh, allocation location includes pen b is high group and pen a is medium group along with low group contains pen a2 and pen a2 is subdivided into two further groups that is 35 and 17 total number of animals in low group are 52 animals <clears throat> i repeat high group contains 131 animals medium group contains 61 animals and low group contains 52 animals this is shed 2 farm layout in this we have divided it into two sides two portions first one is south side the second one is north side south side is also subdivided into different pens or sheds sub sheds in which first one is heifers which are under service and their number is 41 dry off 29 close up 13 and we have some bulls as well their number includes 50 including our progeny tested approved bull for breeder breeding purposes north side contains cages 22 uh, 23 cages total number of cages and uh, along with sucklers are 16 weaned ones are 10 and uh, calves inside that basically this is a calf shed along with that that north side north side also contains growers their number is 56 plus 11 equals to 67 these 11 are our jersey animals these are jersey calves and growers are subdivided into two groups classes first one is 56 plus 11 are 67 prebreds are 22 they are going to be sold inshallah inseminated next 4 to 5 days we have already adopted protocol for that <coughs> sorry this is biosecurity that we adopt at river line dairy farm uh, first of all when we have entry to the farm premises hand sanitation on entrance we can see on the uh, left side of the screen and on the mid side this is foot dip at farm entrance uh, there are two uh, foot dips one is liquid and the second one is limestone and the third one is vehicle dip entrance we know i should notice that uh, we have both entries and both uh, dips for pedestrians and for the vehicles as well this is a quarantine newly imported heifers <clears throat> basically this presentation contains all the activities that we have performed here my mem- group members and i myself we have performed this so this is the be- blood sample collection of all the heifers that were uh, uh, imported from australia so this is blood group sampling blood sampling collection and then there is uh, transportation as well <clears throat> this is vaccination we have performed here uh, first one is barvec 10 its uh, date was 19 february and it was injected to the calves that were older to one month i think so 2 to 3 months old means they were above one month old along with that fmd its first shot was all to new heifers on 18 february and uh, along with its second shot was on 8 march and this was uh, to new heifers that were imported from uh, outside the country uh, fmd con- its second shot uh, sorry its first shot was to whole herd except new heifers it was on 8 march and uh, rb51 we did that brucella brucellosis vaccine to some of uh, our uh, uh, milking animals <clears throat> now we are going to see breeding management how we use breeding protocols different bro- breeding protocols and how we see breeding uh, first of all we select different heifers based on based on their selection criteria 
and then selection criteria includes <coughs> age, weight, and height. Age can uh, their age must be almost almost above one year, but we can include 11 to 12 months. Weight is 32 kg. We have selected that and height 135 to 120 centimeter. This is height. We select criteria of different heifers that are going to be inseminated or uh, protocol. Protocols for heifers contains PG injection prostaglandins. And this one first shot was done at 23 February. The second shot was done at 5 March. And we have not done uh, fixed day. <coughs> this is offsing protocol and that was going to be performed at uh, our milking animals. And the first shot was done at GNR of GNRH at 23 February 2024. After seven days, we did that. Uh, first uh, March, we did first uh, shot of PG. After seven days of uh, first GNRH. After PG, we did uh, GNRH again at the third day. And uh, after 16 to 18 hours, we did time to fix the air. Myself and Ibasan. Now I am going to present my uh, portion. Now heat detection. Heat detection include here at uh, river line dairy farm uh, sniffing of vagina. Sniffing of vagina, mounting billowing, increase of activity, rectal palpation to check the tone of uh, uterus ho uterine horn and to check the clear mucus. Insemination, Insem uh, selective insemination uh, for breed improvement. We uh, AMPM rules uh, thaw the semen at 37 degrees Celsius for 30 seconds. Prepare AI gun, clean the vagina, then uh, deposit the semen in uh, uterine body. After uh, depositing the semen, clitoral massage and then conceptol was injected. Now, uh, pregnancy diagnosis at 30 to 60 days. By ultrasonography or rectal palpation, etc. Uh, dry cow uh, protocol we dry cows at uh, 210 days in milk, uh, reduce uh, the milk by providing dry cow feed, uh, skipping the milking, and then dry the animals by using teat sealants. Coming protocol we check first we check the cervical dilation, normal presentation, posture, and position, then inject oxytocin. If uh, parturition was normal, then it is okay. If not, then assistance is provided or uh, calving ropes were used or uh, etc. Calf care include hanging the calf to uh, clear the secretions from the body, uh, to clear the airways, allow the dam to lick the calf for 30 seconds. If breathing is normal, then it is okay. If not, then we take sexual methods on our fenwell to prevent any <coughs> intravenously, or then uh, we provide the uh, good quality costume in first hour of life. Here you can see that. Dam care. Check for the sound fetus inside the uterus before parturition. Uh, uh, calf viability, we are checking. Offer reviva. Immediately after calving to prevent metabolic disorder, amobasal displacement, etc. Check the claustrum quality with digital claustrometer, refractometer to prevent the metabolic disorder. We use melphon C, calcium source, and glycoline, etc. Uh, keep it under observation for the next uh, 24 hours. Here you can see that claustrum quality is excellent. Calf section. We weigh the calf. Apply the navel dip, then feed the, clost feed the clostrum within one hour at that. At ten percent of the body weight, then transition milk, then one liter for two days, then one point five liter up to fifteen days, then two liter up to one month, then two point five liter up to two months, then three liter up to three months. Then we offer concentrate creep feeding to start from the fourth day of age. 
then if then we we apply winning protocol at 90 days of age gradually reduce the concentrates uh, sorry gradually reduce the milk provided if calf weighs about 90 kg and 3 months of age and started to consume approximately 1 kg of concentrate then we will health section section first of all during uh, and how we can uh, differentiate between the healthy animal and the sick animal during the feeding time first of all we should uh, check the feed intake of the animal either is uh, taking uh, normal amount of the feed or not then uh, then we saw the rumination of the animals then uh, if there is a difference in the rumination or animal is not going proper rumination in the uh two minutes or uh, three times then we uh we took the animal to the uh hospital and checked for the temperature pulse and the respiration and then go, go for the clinical examination next here are uh, here we do a different uh, cases at the clinic as well as the uh, different sheds first of all i would like uh, to uh, tell you Tell you about the mastitis cases. First of all, uh, type of the mastitis. Uh, these are our uh, animals number who is mastitic in the recent months. These these are one seventy seven, one seventy nine, three fifty nine, and double one two. These all the animals are recover from the mastitis. Uh, next one is the septic mastitis. In, in this, odor is hard and redness, and then increase the body temperature as well. Uh, y two fifty nine, W two fifty nine, and five twenty four. Only Y two fifty nine uh, is remaining. Other all all the animals are recovered from uh, septic mastitis. Bloody mastitis. Uh, in this, uh, blood clots are coming in the milk when we. Take the sample in the dish. Here are the treatment protocol we use for the different uh, mastitis ca cases. These are the uh, first we use uh, antibiotic as well uh, different groups. Uh, we start from the uh, androfloxacin or amoxicillin. Then, if the animal is not recovered, then we go for the oxytetracycline or pentamycin, clinixin. Recently, we are using we are using marbofloxacin which are a uh, group of the chlorophenicols uh, we use tylosine as well captalin infilim and sets as well like loxin and uh, tetrajax as well uh, when the uh, when the animal is going for the uh, present as a septic or the to toxic mastitis we use normal uh, infusion so that the to remove the toxin in the body as well. Uh, we use normal saline if the animal is not recovered, then we use hypertonic solution for uh, uh, which contains 75 gram of the uh, salt and uh, 1000 ml of the normal saline. If the body temperature is nor normal and the animal is uh, weak, so we use dextrose drips as well. During the dripping, we use uh, sportive treatment as well uh, like liver tonic because we are uh, injecting a lot of the medicine so to clear it we use liver tonic immune booster like vitamin b complex uh, steroids vitamin b12 ad3 amino vital which contain a lot of uh, uh, amino acids and the vitamins and antihistaminic as well 
put to prevent any reaction in the body of the animal like we use uh, oxidative cycling for the treatment we uh, we must use uh, fan wheel which contains phenylamine mediate atropine as well we use uh, anti-inflammatory drugs like ketojet and bloxane as well to, pro, uh, to prevent from the any pain uh, next Assalamu alaikum, I am Salma Hussain Khan from Tolistan University of Oxford. So we are going to now, so now we are going to discuss the lamus. For the treatment of lamus, we use ketoject, IG3, scope examination, scope trimming, scope keeping, formaldehyde and copper sulfate. Here are the pictures of scope trimming and the food dip solution for the food dip. DRDR, uh, it's a joint respiratory disulfacine zone and recently the bow with attack 5122 is suffering and we use acacin, ketoject and fenwin for this solution. King guy, the tag 573-147 is that 57, 064-055, that 34-20 and so on others are suffering with king guy. And for the treatment of pink eye, we use subconjunctival, subconjunctival oxytetracycline. We wash the eye with oxy, dacodram, fenvin, and toilet. And inject oxytetracycline and use the eye. Here are the pictures <coughs> of the wound management. First of all, we clean the wound with an alkaline hydrogen peroxide with iodine. And then, iodine locally suppressible. Antiseptic dressing and spray on the wound. Abscess management. B68. So is suffering from the abscess. We <coughs> apply Kaolin poultice to mature the abscess, then drain and reassess. Acidosis. The signs and symptoms of acidosis are foamy diarrhea, ineptance, hypothermic, and abdominal respiration. And the treatment we use for the acidosis is we don't drench Kaolin powder. Plus slowly stimulus and vigor. Infusion of finger lactate, tribersen, and acidotic. Milk fever. Recently, the cow for 20 is suffering from the milk fever. Parturition in history involves stillbirth. First, we diagnosed it with a post-parturient toxemia due to inappropriate expulsion of placenta. But later, the cow shows the signs of milk fever. And the Treatment and we use the treatment clinic and that's dose malfon C, amoxicillin, toxin, amino vitals, mitogen, trimodopan. My name is Kalhale. I am from the C DV DVM from Sivas and Arwal. Now we are going to see in cough diarrhea. Three types of cough diarrhea we have seen in Riverline Dairy Farm. First of all, watery diarrhea, as you can see in the picture. Greenish diarrhea and bloody diarrhea. Treatment protocol what, what we used at uh, Deliverable and Dairy Farm is here. First of all, we select Enro plus Amoxicillin antibiotic we use. Is the other one to use the remote tribersen, clinicin, gentamicin, oxytetracycline, or sulfur demodin. The Sari antibiotic you have what cough directly on protocol to get even Dairy Farm for use the rain. And the body is a sportive store, tropically, we have a cough directly used to the use of the pleasure of the finger, lactate, or hormones. If the animal temperature 
हाई है उसको उसके लिए हम रिंगल एक्टिव यूज नहीं करेंगे उसमें हम नॉर्मल सलाइन यूज करते हैं इसके अलावा सेलमिनेक्स फेक्ट्रोलाइट स्कोर एक्स और कार्बोज है ये एज स्पोर्टिव एनिमल को देते हैं जिसमें डिफरेंट मिनरल्स और इलेक्ट्रोलाइट वगैरह होते हैं और नेक्स्ट आ जाता है मिल्किंग पार्लर रिवल रिव फार्म हैज इंट्रोड्यूस लार्जेस्ट मिल्किंग पार्लर इन साउथ पंजाब व्हिच हैज अ कैपेसिटी ऑफ ऑलमोस्ट 1000 एनिमल एट अ टाइम फ्री टाइम मिल्किंग इज कंट्री वर्किंग एट रिवल एंड डेयरी फार्म एट 12 पीएम 8 पीएम एंड 4 एएम After milking, uh, after milking, CIP protocol was used to clean the milk line. Forward to, firstly we used a clean water at room temperature to clean the milk and uh, milk line. After that we used uh, acid and alkali solution. Two times we used acid solution and one time alkali solution to clean the milk line, wash the milk line. The solution we make two liter solution in 100 ml water at 70 to 80 degrees Celsius to make the alkali solution for washing the milk line. 